what is up you guys time is back with another linton's video the wifey is here as well hello guys and we have two fragrances this is a his and hers from rue broca but before i get into that just want to say thank you guys again it is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices whether it is that cell phone that tablet that laptop that macintosh that brand new big screen tv whether you watch me at home at work on a plane a train an automobile or in the bathroom in the bathroom if you're watching me in the bathroom maybe you're uh, tidying up if you will and deciding which fragrance should i wear today. maybe if you got one of these two you know which one we're talking about mm -hmm. but again if you guys are new to this channel you like what you see hit the subscribe button comment and like because likes are the most important thing in the world nowadays if we didn't like this dog he'd be at the pound but we like him see it's important <laughs> to like yeah right it is we didn't like him he'd be in a pound right that that's you know he was my anniversary gift he's my baby see so again likes are important yeah because if he didn't like me and we didn't like the dog neither one of us would be here no nope. i'm we'd both be in the pound right now but i'm hanging on by a thread rue broca this is a uh, middle eastern fragrance company um now afnan is manufacturing it but they do go by the house the name of rule broke okay this is a middle eastern house and rule broker does have a website rule okay out of france but this actual fragrance i believe was made in the middle east so again this is a his and hers these are called touche so rule broker touche for men and then the touche for women see look at that you know, guys, by the way, this is not a DSLR or anything like this. This is literally the oldest cell phone in the books. And it is, look at that good. It's the iPhone 12. Look at that oh, good. Uh, look at that good. Uh, it, it caught on quick. Like, there's no blur on that one. So, uh, just to go to show you that uh, if you guys are trying to get into the fragrance game, I know some of you guys are. Some of you guys have actually gotten a hold of me for crying out loud, but... You don't need the most expensive camera. Eventually, I'll get to that point. But for now, we're using a cell phone, and it's working quite good, right? It is. It works really well. We actually have a camera that he can use. We have a MacBook Pro he can use. We do. But he refuses. Yeah, I hate Apple. <laughs> See, likes. Again, if someone liked Apple, they would get it. See, likes are important. Well, open up yours. And what we're going to do is we're going to spray it on ourselves and then we are going to have each other sniff them and see if they are any good. We'll kind of describe what we smell. We'll kind of describe if uh, we, we would like this fragrance on our partner, if you will. Uh, what these kind of uh, are good for. Maybe these are good for date nights. Maybe they're just good for an occasional wear outdoors. Maybe running some errands. Maybe at work who knows what these are for maybe these are oh man i actually like this cap but take a look at that box anyways touche i think those are like suspenders pink suspenders i think it's a suspender clip they knew this is my favorite oh, color man. i kind of like this bottle it's like a pineapple it does it's even got the little touche uh thing here or whatever that is supposed to be look at that cap the cap is real nice look at that it. bottle looks like yours Mine is looks though. just like mine, except for hers has kind of like that pinkish, yellowish, goldish look. Mine is just all black. And mine is see-through. Hers is these two. They're kind of heavy. No, yours is see-through too. It's very dark. Eventually, if I put a flashlight to this, you can probably see it through. Caps are not that heavy, but they are decent enough. Yeah. They're it's... not super heavy. It's the bottle that's the heavy thing. Okay, so yeah. The one thing I'm looking at it though is. I mean, okay, so I guess if you were to lose this little tassel, tassel or this little, uh, again, what did I call this? A little uh, suspender, <laughs> like a suspender. Yeah. If you lost that, you wouldn't really know what you are wearing because it doesn't say touche at the top. Okay, so it just says touche on this thing. So yeah. in a collection, that kind of looks weird. If you got a huge collection, it sits like that. You're like, what? fragrance is that oh i gotta turn it this way so i can see the touche <laughs> sign so 
Other than that, I do like the way the bottle looks. I like the cap. The cap is very nice. Again, it feels kind of like a pineapple. It's got all these little diamonds in it, if you will. But hers definitely looks better. The, the, the woman version looks better. But it's all about the smell, isn't it? Now, the last video I did, actually today, we're doing another video. I got my scintillators on right here, but I already sprayed some stuff earlier. So we're not going to be able to use these new scintillators. Guys, I'm telling you, this... Sh I might have count? to patent this right here. <laughs> that helps. That counts. Okay, you just stick it there. Scintillator. Flappers. Scintillator flappers. But, I'm telling you guys, take a couple of your t-shirts. By the way, that looks kind of cool. Okay, it looks like you've been slashed by a tiger before you got out to where you're going. Got Plus, bald. it vents the fragrance. I'm telling you guys, try it. You will not be yeah. disappointed. But, we'll try mine first. See what we think. The last video I did Rue Broker, that was the, uh, ooh, nice distribution wide and just do not go right here because that will go right into your eyes. So you're going to have to come ooh. close, okay? I really like that. I can smell in the air. That is nice. Very pleasant. Okay. It almost kind of has like this, ooh. um, like sweet, seductive fruitiness to it. Are we going dancing? Ooh. You know what, guys? Earlier, I did a video on Rue Broca's um, yeah. Pride. I can taste it. I like this one better. If you can only get one of them, get this one. Again, I'm not sure what this is cloning, if it is a clone of anything. If you like the <laughs> DNA of the Aqua Invictus, you go grab that one. But honestly, in my own opinion, this overall <laughs> smell already off the back, I like this one much better. It's kind of fruity. It's kind of... Slightly citrusy. It's almost bubblegummy sweet. It's got this kind of maybe cardamom in the background. But man, I'm digging that one. I like this one, you guys. I like this one better than the Pride, okay? I, I do. So you spray that one now. Actually, come closer. And it's actually got a nice little shine to it. I mean, it's not like one of those perfume extracts. But... It's definitely got a shine. You probably can't see it with this cheap camera, but look at that. Man, I like this one. This one, I like this one better than Prime. If you guys have not tried this one, check this one out. It's Touche. I like this one better. <laughs> Again, fruity, kind of woody, slightly spicy, maybe some cinnamon in here. You got a little bit of this bubblegummy vibe that is maybe some cardamom. Ow. This would definitely be a nice date night fragrance right here. This is not a, I wouldn't call this a anytime daytime wear, like just running errands or something. It's like a little sexy date night right here. This unisex? is unisex, definitely. But because they do have an actual female version, we will probably just consider this masculine. Okay. It is more masculine. A woman can wear this too, but they do have the woman version too. So there's really no point to try to have this one if they do have a woman one, but Maybe you want to smell more masculine. Who knows? But let's go. Spray that one real quick and let's see what that one's all about. Should I spray my Spray hand? it back in the hand. Let's see that atomizer on that one too. Do one more good spray. Not in my eyes, please. <laughs> Did you see it? Ooh. It's not even alcohol. That one's right kind of got this um, in the air. I'm kind of getting this like fruity, almost aquatic vibe. It's like kind of watery mm. and kind of fruity, which I like because it's not just your typical just fruit and sweet vanilla -y. It's kind of, um, ooh, I like that. I like that. It's it's fruity. It's fresh. It's not overly sweet at all. It's almost kind of got this nice floralness. Or the fruit kind of comes out more, and then the florals, the florals are kind of second. It's almost kind of like a white floral. It's not like a rose or anything like that. It's maybe a lily of the valley maybe or maybe some kind of white florals but i actually like that one that one actually smells really good now this one screams more of a daytime use in my opinion if i was to say anything about this one this screams like a that could be Ooh. signature scent worthy like a woman that you know this is what this woman wears all the time i know that's her then when she passes by this is nice again fruity it's kind of got this white floral mm. smell. It's almost like aquatic. There's almost kind of like this watery feel, especially in the air. But I like that. I think these two really blend well together. 
This one says more of like a nighttime though, I think, because of that little sweetness and that spice that you get in this one. Where that one says more daytime, but I can see these two working together in harmony. Like if we were both wear these at the same time, like go heavy with the spray. I don't really think you need to go heavy with the spray because they're no, quite spray, loud but... right off the back. But if I were to go like five sprays with this and she goes five sprays in it, I think that would really complement each other. Complement each other a lot. Can you say um, these last in a while? Yeah. Just because again, if you guys have a big collection already here is the one thing that I have issues with a lot of people on this channel, or just it, it, fragrance people in general. Why do you need to buy two of the same fragrances? Now, I can understand if you buy one and then you buy a clone of it. That's one thing, okay? But why do you need two Aqua de Gels? Why do you need that? If you have a huge collection, you will never get past the first bottle. Anyways, if you got a huge collection, like 200 bottles plus, or even hers, like if you look over here, you can probably see it. Her collection is kind of like two shelves. Okay, two or three shelves. She's not gonna go through one single bottle in there. Now, if she really likes it, maybe, but chances are she has two of the similar fragrances in yeah. all of them, okay? There's probably at least two that smell the same in all of those. So they smell the same, similar vibes and all that. So honestly, I don't see the point of buying two bottles of the same thing. People are always talking about they need a backup bottle. No. If you Now, if you only got like 10 fragrances, yes, maybe. But if you got a huge fragrance collection, just, just buy one. Because so you're not going to get to the... What if I actually finish my one favorite bottle? That means you're just in like the other ones. That's not true. Because I use the other one. Because I love Aqua to show Profumo, but I, I still use all 300 others before I even touch that. Like today I used it. Oh, by the way, Aqua to show in Dolce & Gabbana forever. Hey, layer it. I'm telling you guys, it smells excellent. But we are talking about Rue Broca de Touche. This one again, it's kind of getting that sweetness, that sweet, spicy still. It definitely screams, if you are going to wear this outdoors, not in the summertime, okay? That sweetness kind of comes up a little bit too much, and I think it'd be too much in the summer, spring, fall. Probably not great for winter. I don't think this would beat the winter, the cold weather like that. But anything below like 70 degrees, you got a nice breeze. It's going to be nice. It's going to be a nice, sweet, spicy, kind of fruity fragrance, slightly woody. Yours, you smell it one more time. Well, I Ooh, it almost, hers almost has like this fruity, floral, and now what I was kind of getting right there at the end was almost like the smell of licorice, just like a slight, very, very slight mm -hmm. little smell of licorice, that star anise, maybe, if you will. It kind of gives it that fennelly, that star anise, licorice smell. That is nice, you guys. Um, wow, I like that one. That one's actually a lot different than the last few that I've gotten for her. They're usually just all sweet and fruity and all that stuff. Really? But this one mellows that that sweetness down. It's like really nice. It's not overly sweet. It's not granny old or nothing like that. Mm -mm. It's right down the middle. Young, old, right in between. Okay, I think everyone will like it. It's nice. I like it. I think I meant like, do you think these will last like all day? Well, they are Middle Eastern fragrances. Okay. Now sometimes they are a hit or miss, but I'm going to say if you at least go five sprays, it should last you at least the time that you need it to last. Okay. So it might not be a 10 hour beast, but if you only got like a five hour date, five hour five hours away from home before you come back home, these would definitely last those five hours, okay? You'll definitely have a nice projection probably for like the first hour and a half, which is good. And then it will just mellow into a nice, beautiful skin scent. But again, this is a complimentary piece. This is a combination. That's why they have his and hers because they want you to wear these together. And I think again, these would definitely do just that. These smell bomb. I like it. Again, 
You know what? I'm going to say this is actually a tie, okay, between this and that pride, okay? Because I like the pride better on skin a little bit, but I like this in the air more than the pride, okay? So it's kind of a tie. I do like it on the skin. It's kind of got that little sweetness. It's, it's, it's heading towards borderline too much sweet, but it is so good in the air. And again, that's what most people are going to smell in the air. They're not going to smell that on your skin. Only she will smell it on the skin. So if she likes the sweetness, really doesn't matter what I like. So, um, uh, with that being said, hey, by the way, here's another one that if we didn't like, he would be at a dog pound right now. See? So likes are important. This one was a gift to him, apparently. It was. Because he really only likes his daddy. I'm shocked he is with me. It's crazy. You walk into a store, next thing you know, you leave him with a dog. It's crazy. He but said no to a dog, and he came home anyways. <laughs> I don't care what man you are. If you are a... You could be the biker, the most grisliest yeah. looking man in the world. But if a puppy comes into your lap, a kitten comes into your lap... <laughs> You will melt like a marshmallow under a nice hot fire. Can you imagine fire. this man with all these tattoos? He's a pretty big man. Like, um, just in statue. Walking this little 13, 14 pound dog outside. And it's fluffy. <laughs> and then this one comes up behind me. Look at that. 80 pounds. And then this one likes his mama most of the time. But... So... Anyhow. Uh, look at that. So we got the whole gang in this video right here. Look at that. Hopefully this gets more likes. The animal lovers will be here to watch. Uh, so I think they like the fragrance. Anyways, too. yeah, they probably do. Uh, but they must smell anyways, sweet. I like mine. Do you like yours? I love it. So there you go. So we both like it mm -hmm. as individual fragrances. If we had to wear these just individually, and we both like them on each other. Yeah. So that's another plus. So mm -hmm. there you go. Uh, we're going to get up out of here before uh, this dog gives me a wet willy. Uh, he probably did already. He's probably smacking his lips on that wax. Wax that ass. But uh, anyways, we are going to get up out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. He's probably peeing on our blankets right now. But oh, oh. No, no. no, okay. So there he is. That is Brody. This is Charlie, by the way. Maybe we'll have a cool little theme song for when they make their appearance like Mr. Flossy Carter, right? That would be cool. But anyone, <laughs> of you guys want to make a cool little theme song for us, that would be cool. Yeah, let us know. Maybe y'all will win something. Charlie and Brody. You guys got a cool little song that you can create. Send it my way. Okay? Yes. With that being said, we are going to get up out of here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that video. Again, Rule Broker to Shay for him, for her. Boom, look at that bottle. Looks very nice. Very beautiful. There you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace.